We are the guardians of Gurdogan. We are the children of the Divine Smith. We are the Dwarves. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Dwarves. Or the Dwarves. I was trying to sound very Dwarven there, but it doesn't really sound too well coming from me. So, it's just the Dwarves. As you could probably imagine by the menu menu alone, this is a fantasy role-playing game. Oh, really? A game with orcs and goblins and dwarves' is fantasy game? Falcon? Yeah, it actually is, you smart asses. But, this is also a really fun game. I already took this out for a spin, had a little bit of a blast with it. I'm here to show it off to you. This comes out on December 1st for everybody uh, on Steam, and I believe also on consoles as well. Alrighty, I can actually now verify consoles as well. I did a little bit of a pause and I checked it out just to make sure PS4 and Xbox One as well. I'm playing here the Steam version, however, as you can probably see in the upper left corner. Um, this will be coming out on the channel a bit before the release date. We do have an early look at over here. So, um, without further ado, just keep in mind it's still being developed. Well, not really developed, it's already developed, but there's still a bit of, like, you know, bugs going on being fixed, a little bit more troubleshooting going on up until the release date. So if there's something happens, if we're into some sort of issue, you understand why that is. But so far, everything's run pretty smooth, so I don't think we should note anything, really. So, let's go into campaign over here. Vrakas made us from stone to protect Gardelgard. Against orcs, ogres, and all the other beasts of Teon. We are the guardians of Gurdogan. We are the children of the Divine Smith. We are the Dwarves. Alrighty, nothing really hypes me up as much as fantasy games where I know that I will eventually go ahead and mispronounce every single location and monster and name out there, but that's okay. Um, we have the mouse controls over here. Yeah, yeah, I know how to play game. Okay, come on, let's go. Come on. Let's move on. What's over here? Let's get moving. We are at the moment Glandolin here. Click on Leap Attack on the lower left of the screen, or press E and then select your target on the battlefield. We get to jump from all the way up here? Yeah, we do. Alright, you motherfuckers, which one's getting it? Down here. Let me help out my Dwarven brother. Oh, oh stun them down! Come here, and what's really cool is that whenever you have knockdowns, if you attack really quickly before they get up, uh, this guy, oh, we still got him, you will get an instant kill over here. So, as, you, as I've already mentioned, you could pause the game at any moment and kind of like, you know, plot out your attacks and stuff like that. You have multiple characters at some point or another and you will control them all at the same time. You could switch on them on the fly, we could select all of them, do group attacks, blah 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 blah. But you can pause indeed any, to any moment you want to. You basically plot out your next course over here, spin around. So it's all pretty cool. It's all real time, but at the same time it's got the pause feature with a bit of strategy involved. So, uh, let's actually go ahead here. Am I zoomed in? I'm zoomed in. Okay. Let's come over here and start busting some Charge. some orc heads here with Glandolin. Hey, here, you. get out the way. Get out the way. I must yes. bust some heads here. Yes, bring him down. Huh. Who's this guy behind me, huh? Oh, you're stunned, aren't you? Yeah, you would be stunned after an axe to the head. What about this guy with a big shield over here? Let's go oh, and meet no him. How you doing, buddy? All I like right. that shield. I kind of want that shield. Ah, ah, he's dead. Okay. Let's um, maneuver the camera a little bit here. Kind of a weird angle, let me zoom out. Okay, let's use a couple of these skills for us though, huh? Um, we have seen the leap attack, but let me jump into this pile. Oh, 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 I love this because as I mentioned, if you attack dudes when they're knocked down, it's an instant kill for us over here. We missed that on that one though. At the moment we have to kill 60 orcs and six guards, it does seem. And we do have a group attack with this Q here, which I love, it hits everybody. And then the W attack, or the W skill, is actually something for us to kind of pierce through everybody and you push everybody off and you can push these dudes off of the bridge as well so that's actually pretty cool i guess the big guys over here are the guards right so we should be gathering up on them uh let me move away here because i feel like we're getting gang banged by all these dudes go cover the chest and click on it as soon as the use symbol appears with the grenades well be creative i can be creative my friend uh you guys need to move out of the way so let me just charge thank you all right so I'd be happy to pass on this present to the Greenskins. Alright, we got him. So we have 10 grenades now. We could use them now, and it's All not a bad way. idea, but normally I think it's probably best to wait for the next part of the mission here when the Understood. things get really, really hectic here. But at the moment, I think we're doing alright. Let me do my jump attack again. Oh, ho, ho, right off of the bridge! Get that kill on this guy over here lying down. There's no sleeping in the battlefield, my friends. Oh ho. Let's see if I can do a charge. Aha! A couple of more off the bridge as well. Excellent. What you guys want, huh? 
You want a grenade? Okay, you know what? Let's actually move back over here really quickly and see about using ourselves a grenade. You don't have to worry about, like, friendly fire, although I do believe there's an option to enable friendly fire. But why would you want to do that? I really have no idea. I hate friendly fire in games so much, man. Let me do this attack over here. And let's use a grenade. I would say, like, right over here sounds good. Oh, off of the bridge! Yeah. Okay, what about this guy here? Move out the way. I want him. Leave him to me. Yeah, I just push him right off. Great. So we have like six more orcs to kill and we should be done here. The next um, assault's going to be on those little catapults over there, which are doing quite a bit of a number on us. Let's see if we can do another charge. Get into the heart of the darkness here. Yeah! Oh, baby! Two more down. Two more down. One more to go. What are you guys doing, huh? My king! What are you doing here? Gizelbert I and I, the father of the Fifthling clan, has not been on the front line of battle against the creatures of Teon for many cycles. The king surveys the battlefield and the defenders with a grave expression. <sighs> we are too few! This you know as well as he does, but there will be no reinforcements arriving. Hundreds of brave warriors lie inside the fortress dying. The illness is running rampant. It brings weakness and death. Stay at your posts. Be as steadfast as the granite of which we are made. Nothing can break us. Vrakas is with us. Alrighty, so now we have the king over here, part of our group as well. Um, as you probably already noted, the voice and I think I really enjoy it. The, the narrator does a really good job, and so far, the the king and our dude, Glendolyn, pretty good job as well. Uh, change between characters at the bottom left of the screen, or by pressing tab as well. And you can select multiple people by just um, dragging like this, yes. and then maneuver them over here as well. And this is the reason why I was... Oh, they took my grenades away! I was saving them for this part! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, let's start off by using a, a group buff attack over here. So now everybody's got a little bit of heal, and everybody attacks faster as well because of our king. And he's also got a crazy hammer attack. Boom it on up, baby! Now with this one, we have to kill the ogres, and then also the catapults all the way at the back, unfortunately. So, let me swap over to Gwendolyn. While the game is paused, spacebar, you can command. Yeah, 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 we, we know about that already. Let's see if I could push these guys. Oh, no, I can't. I was hoping you could push the ogres off the bridge. Oh, my God! That ogre just swung me to the defenses! Gwendolyn, get up, dude! <laughs> get up. Oh my god, what a reprisal attack there. Oh, I do have the, the the grenades. Okay. I was using the king. I'm a, I'm a moron, but big surprise there. Gwendolyn, why, why do you keep falling down, dude? You gotta stop drinking in the field, man. This is fucking war. There we go. So now that we have the grenades over here... Oh, those goddamn catapults, dude! Alright. One ogre is down. Oh, we just took friendly fire, it said, didn't we? That's weird. Could have sworn I had friendly fire unequipped. Don't friendly fire me, guys. Alright, so this ogre should be going down now. Great. Now all we need to do is bring down the catapults. So you, my friends, are kind of in the way. Let's just rush on these guys through. Push them off the bridge. That's okay. And now we come over here. Oh, yeah, you want some too, don't you? Get off of my ass, man. And let me actually handle another grenade. Oh, oh, oh you don't like that too much, do you? Really? You, you really want some more of this? Okay, let's just... Let me try to push through here. Yeah, get off of me. Get off of me. Okay. Grenades time! Oh, you're you're busy? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, buddy. I know I kind of pulled you in the middle of all this shit here, but you got the grenades that we need. Let's go back to the old... Grenades. I just missed that completely, didn't I? Oh, baby! Okay. But this is what I like. Like, the skirmishes are really huge, so it feels like you're in the middle of the field here. Like, it doesn't seem like there's, like, you know, like, just a couple of orcs over here fighting. Like, this is a, a fucking battle for, for life and death, so I really do enjoy that. I'm a bit stunned here. Get off of me. Swap over to our boy here and drop a heal if we can. There you go. And let's actually start working on this catapult, which you have done some damage on already, but it's gotta go down. You gotta go down, catapult. There it is. First one is down. How's the other one doing? I'm not really too sure. All right, Glendolyn. Let's drop a couple more of these grenades over here. Good, good, good. Really good damage on the on the catapults and the grenades. Sorry. So we're out of grenades now. Let's actually handle ourselves this strong swing attack over here. 
Oh, 1350. Bring it on down. All right. These are the ones who attacked us in the tunnels. We suffered great losses beating them back. Come here and I'll split you like a straw, you treacherous elf! In his fury, the old king radiates a ferocious power that none of Citalia's children could withstand. But the slight, willowy being sitting astride the Shadow Mare just grins down, mockingly. You are mistaken. We are Alpha. We are here to destroy the Elves. All peace-loving beings here in Girdlegard are under our protection, and you cannot open the gate that has barred your path into Girdlegard since the creation of the world. Not us, but perhaps one of your kind. This cannot be. Silence, you fool! Vrakas, forgive me for what I am about to do. Quickly, in formation! You must hold them back until I close the gate! <laughs> Alrighty, time to play the fence over here. I have used all my grenades already, but we should be okay. We have a couple of snipers up top here. Let's actually use my strong attack. And the king's gonna basically try to seal that down here for us. Let's see if we can just push some fools off the bridge. Not really, but we did get a couple of knockdowns here. Get those kills. Get those kills. There you go. Let's see if we can do another one here. Boom! Who's down? Oh, nobody went down, huh? Oh, this guy's down. Nah, he got up in time. To oh, no, we still got him. Very good. Come here, you. Runes activated to a five. Charge. This is going to be a lot easier since we just have to play the fence here momentarily. And pushing these guys to the floor Come is actually here, quite you. easily your best um, tactic here. <laughs> guys over there all woozy. You see that guy over there? Oh, that poor orc. No idea what hit him. Stash through. Stash through. Yeah. I don't know why I did that, really. But we're done. Look at me. I am Syntharas, the Reaper of your death. I will take your life, and the land will take your soul. Get out of my sight, pointy ears, and let me delight at the closed gate a little longer. The gate may have closed, but when you rise again from the dead by the power of the land, you will be one of us, and you will open it. Never! My soul belongs to Rakas. No. Your soul now belongs to the land. And henceforth you will belong to it forever. Now die. And return. Then hand us Girdlegard. You're a perfectionist, Tungdale Bolifar. I've got a reputation to uphold. If you can't rely on the metalwork of a dwarf, what can you rely on? Alrighty, quite a bit of a twist, huh? So now we're over here like a thousand years in the future. I believe the cycles is like a year to us humans over here. So uh, I've got a reputation to uphold. Let's see. So we have a bit of a choice now. Um, this is going to be somebody very dear to us, actually. So um, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? For me, nothing. It's Lot Yonan. He wants to see you in his study. In your mind, you go through all the recent incidents that might have annoyed the Magus. Apart from a few little squabbles with his famuli, nothing worth mentioning happened since the incident with your beard. You nod. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, um, you look dreadful, bad knight. I'd better not let the Magus wait too long. Ah, you know, what a charmer this guy is. Now let's go with that one, why not? You look dreadful. What a charmer. The maid gives you an ironic, reprimanding scowl. Ikana has been crying half the night. When you were teething, I carried you around the vaults. You played with my beard and I sang you to sleep. Prala smiles. 
She's heard this story many times before. That was 23 cycles ago. But I'm quite sure you didn't sing. You might have grumbled a bit. If what you've read about the Dwarven lifespan is true, it'll be another 300 sun cycles and more before you are called to the Eternal Forge. The certainty of one day having to witness Frala's death already burdens your heart. I'd better not keep the Magus waiting. See you later. There's goulash for dinner. Aw. It breaks my heart, man, because you, you apparently, you know, you kind of raised her a little bit here, and then you are going to see her die because, you know, humans, we don't have the longest lifespan out there. Anyway, so now we're kind of, like, free to roam around over here. We can inspect a couple of things. And man, this is, like, you know, a full-blown, you know, RPG as well. You get to run, run around and, like, look for stuff, but the battles are all, like, you know, real-time tactical strategy. There's a leveling system as well involved. You do a couple of missions, a couple of quests for people, you find certain items, you will get experience, and you level yourself up. Uh, let's see if we can show that off here really quickly. We have, here we go, Tungdale level 1, 500 points for our next level up, current HP, skills that we have, relationships as well. Uh, I guess you develop these over time, and I believe they're actually for combat purposes. You actually do better in combat with other people as well. A couple of items, stuff like that. And then over here we have our current quest, which is to talk to Lad Ionan. I, again, I mentioned I'd be misspelling or mispronouncing these games here pretty soon. And it didn't really take too long, now, did it? Um, well, you know what, I could find a couple of items here, but it's really nothing too important. We're almost out of time as well for the video. This is hey, a one-shot. Groundling! Come to the kitchen, we need you! Jolison, a fourth-degree famulus and your favorite foe among the students of magic, gives you a disparaging glance and disappears without waiting for your reply. As I was saying, this is a one-shot, so uh, I want to show you as much as possible here in this one video. Alright, let's actually take a look at our surroundings here. This is as far as we can zoom in, huh? Alrighty, well, I, I like these surroundings and the, the the environment, I suppose, but I would like to be able to zoom in a bit more as well. I wonder if you could kind of, like, edit that with the, maybe with the PC version, you look into the definitions and stuff like that. I can't talk to you, though. Alright, let's actually go over here towards our mission here as soon as possible. And actually, there's a bit of a side thing we have to do here. Tongue deal! Quick! Or the goulash will get burnt! You immediately recognize what the problem is. A chain running over a pulley for positioning the cauldron is detached from its mounting and the cauldron stuck in the fireplace. It's a heavy load and none of the famuli, who feel superior even during kitchen duty, dare do anything. They might burn their fingers or even get a bit dirty. Get out the way, people. I got this. Although, you know what? I'll make you guys wait here momentarily. Let me talk to Freyla again. Frala. I just wanted... This stew quickly now. But I'm doing it on purpose, Frala. Let me look at the kitchen table first. Vegetables, bread, cheese. But the cook is not to be trifled with. Many painful knuckles have taught you that she knows how to handle her heavy wooden spoon, and that she may possibly have eyes in the back of her head. <laughs> I like it. I'm telling you, like the, the narration is so great. Everything you examine, you basically have that narrator talking, and you know it's a really good voice, and um, it does kind of get the, the ambiance of the situation quite well done. Let's actually come over here really quickly and get this here fixed up for these people. It'd be a waste of goulash. And I'm hungry. Here, hold this. <laughs> We're making homeboy over here who's like kind of a dick towards us to hold it here meanwhile. And we have the chance to kind of like just stick around if we want to. We could talk to the Famulus, we could examine the mountain, or we could just repair it now. But you know what? Let's be a scumbag. Do you remember when you dyed my beard with some magic spell? I had to shave it off. You stroke your beard. Which is unusually short for a dwarf. Damn it! Ah, oh, it's heavy! The young human forces through his pursed lips, letting the pot sink a little. Don't you dare ruin my goulash, boy! The cook with beefy forearms glares at the young man, and after a brief moment, he tries harder. <laughs> with as much concern in your voice as you can muster, you say, Oh, no, no, this doesn't look good. You're pleased to notice he's dripping with sweat. I'll get you back for this, groundling! <laughs> I love how Frala knows what we're doing over here. Alright, let's go ahead and repair it now. You damned freak! For a moment, you hope the Famulus really does raise his hand to you. 
but then he comes to his senses and leaves the kitchen, his face bright red. What a pair you are! Yep, yep. Alrighty. And we got 50 experience for that little small side quest that we took over here. Again, our main goal over here is to go and talk to the, um, Ly Lyona, whatever his name was. But you can pilfer some food, which actually nets you experience. So I guess being a thief rewards you, it does seem, other than just items. Yeah, we got 25 experience for being a thief. Alrighty. And I think we're basically out of time, guys. Let me just go ahead and show you what your journey is going to entail itself as over here once we meet the Lyona. Uh, my Chirona, I'm not sure what his name is anymore. Lot Iona and study. Master Lot Yonan, Frala told me you wished to speak with me. Ah, Tungdil, come in. Uh, there is a bag over there in the cupboard. Take it out, please. It contains artifacts belonging to my former Famulus Goren. I wish to return them to him. He's in Black Saddle, 300 miles away. 300 miles? That's a long journey. Who are you going to entrust with this? I was thinking of you. Me? There is no one better to take on this journey. You have acquired much knowledge. You are almost a scholar. You know more than most Famuli about Girdelgard and its inhabitants. It is time for you to go out into the world and see it with your own eyes. I... with pleasure. And there you have it. So, this is the start of our journey here with, um, t Til... Tilder? Til Tinder? <laughs> I don't think his name is Tinder. You're not going to see him on Tinder over here, like, looking for, um, strange and stuff like that. But anyway, this is, um, the Dwarves. I wanted to show it off here really quickly as a one-shot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This comes out on December 1st, so keep your eyes out if you enjoyed it. I have all the information for it down below. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support us a lot. I will catch you next time.